Cass and Freddie, and Winnie of course, and we've embarked on a six month home renovation of our London house. After years of saving and two years living here, we took the plunge and knocked down a few walls and added a new floor in the loft. It is chaos and we're living through our build and sharing all the highs and lows of taking on a home reefer project. Hey. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am just sat in our kitchen living area editing my vlog. It feels so surreal that this is our house now and just really chilled. I love it and that Winnie's got her own little area as well. She's so calm now. You had to start squeaking that the second I started filming, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> So this week we have just been painting the bathroom, which was the last room of the house to paint. We have been doing up the spare room because my sister is coming to stay. And we have just been kind of like putting stuff back in cupboards. So it's a little bit of a regaining our house back and putting it back together vlog. And there will be lots more of that because this is only the beginning. I have begun the task of decluttering which always gets worse before it gets better i've started emptying this cupboard and i'm regretting it already so i'm stopping doing the task and i'm gonna go and clean and empty the bathroom downstairs which means more mess everywhere before it gets tidier but my reasoning is because there's a lot of stuff here that needs to go in the downstairs bathroom and the downstairs bathroom currently looks like this my task for today is to empty this room because we are going to be painting that this evening. So I've got to empty it, deep clean, and then the evening paint shift begins again. This is the epitome of like moving your stuff around in a home refurb and having random stuff everywhere. There is a side table and a rug in my shower. And an ironing board next to my toilet. And curtains in my bathtub. <laughs> like a maniac and I was like what's she going on about came upstairs and she's trying to get to her bed but it's blocked it's blocked with all the crap I'm sorry puppet I know look it's so easy go on in good girl into the bed finally you want to actually oh you want the bone okay well that makes full sense no you can stay in your bed now so our kitchen cupboard handles have arrived. They are so gorgeous. These are the Hive handles from Dowsing and Reynolds. I've got these back plated ones for the island and then I'm just having normal ones for the white cupboards like here. They're looking beautiful. But we have just been putting away all our kitchen products into our new kitchen after they've had a good clean. And we've got a little helper there as well. And also putting the dining table up and just really making this room like kitchen dining area again. Another week and the Thames water chaos continues with digging up the road. So they did the pipe here and now they filled the street in. They're now at the other end of the street where the water supply starts. And then hopefully by the end of today, we'll have no more lead pipe. Woohoo! I have got some kitchen lights. They're still in bits. So I will pop an image of what they look like in the corner. They arrived and they're beautiful and they're concrete um, lampshades. And I picked the first one up and I dropped it and it smashed. Absolute legend decorator. I was like, no, hold on, it's fine. Go to the shop now and buy some super glue. Get me some baking soda and I will fix it and he pieced it back together and then sanded it and then repeated the process until it was like fully sturdy again. What a legend. So obviously that now looks a bit odd, marbly look. So I've bought some chalk wash light concrete colored paint and I'm just gonna go paint them now. And we're gonna be as good as new and no one's ever gonna know, apart from all of you, that I smashed the lamp. <laughs> This is two coats on there and I'm just gonna let that dry really properly and then I'm gonna do a third. You can see a couple of shadows where the lines are. So happy with that. I think this was like three pounds from B&Q and it was worth every single penny. 
So as we continue to put stuff away, we have this giant cupboard under our stairs, like under our loft stairs, and we thought it would be pretty nifty if we used the leftover floorboards to put into the cupboard. Freddie's just had these cut um, to size. And after filling this cupboard, we've got two full boxes left over still. So we're gonna do the loft, like cupboards, sloping cupboards under the Velux as well. Perfect place to use it. Look at this. And we're just, they're tongue and groove floorboards. So Freddie's just slotting them together. Do you care if there's gaps in them? Like no, not at all. Just because it's a cupboard. The tongue and groove would obviously fix that, but it's where the, the base floor is a bit uneven. Nah, no, it's fine. It's, it's stickier than I thought it would be. Yeah. Here to watch. <laughs> Look at that clean cupboard! Very exciting. The washing machine and tumble dryer got plumbed in today. This is the finished utility unit, and they painted it flower on ball green smoke, which I just think is the most beautiful shade of paint that flower on ball do. I love it. It's actually coming out quite warm in this video because I've got the spotlights on but um, it's like a cool greeny gray. Got all my like soaps and detergents there, iron, ironing board. I'm gonna get the Hoover in there once we've finished it. The utility room is now really a utility room. We've got that, we've got Winnie's cupboard, we've got the sink. They just need to put an, a plinth up here to hide those pipes. It's looking good. My sister Alice is coming to visit on Wednesday. I have 48 hours to make this room a guest room. It's This bedding bundle is from Piglet in Bed and I picked really neutral stuff. So I've got the white main linen bundle set and then I've gone for this beautiful lunar stripe pillowcase and then an oatmeal one as well. They gifted this to me and it is taking everything for me not to put it on my own bed and to put it on Alice's bed instead. It is so soft and beautiful, beautiful linens. I can't wait to unwrap it and pop it on now. noticed is that the TV is tiny. You can't even watch anything on that. <laughs> and Freddie is annoyed because I was like, we are not getting a bigger TV than 43 inches. That is plenty. Get that 65 inch out your basket now. It's literally the first thing I noticed when I walked in, the <laughs> tiny television. It's like on The Office, the episode of The Office, Michael's TV. I don't know, what, <laughs> how, how has this happened? How am I getting rid of this? your mistake. It's my mistake, it's my mistake. Unfortunate for you, Fred, that now we've got a tiny television when all you wanted was a big TV. And it's wonky. And it's wonky. <laughs> it's been hung wonky. Shame. Because you can't just tilt it. And it's like into no, he's the wall. Put, he's put the bracket on the wrong. Oops. 